Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 22 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got four points here, X, R, M, and T. But we need to plot point Z here, and it's not even on the graph. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can have a little bit better. There we go. All right, so let's first put point Z on the graph. So point Z, right, we've got our X and our Y coordinates here. So our point Z is going to be X of negative 3.5, right? So we're going to start at the origin, and we're going to move over negative three and a half, right? And then we're going to move up three from the x-axis, one, two, three. Okay, so right there is my point Z. And if I wanted to plot that, right, it's going to be negative three and a half, and then a y value of three. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a unit, a point that is three and a half units away from point Z. But they don't tell you, you know, which direction, but take a look at my point Z, right? My point Z is on a direct line between points T and M on the x-axis. It's also on a direct line between points X and R on the y-axis. So I can't eliminate one of these four choices because it's not in a direct line. It's either going to be directly above, below, to the left, or to the right, three and a half units away. So let's just start looking at each of these, and we'll plot them. So let's take a look at X, so we'll just kind of move in a clockwise location. So X is going to be directly up, which means our X value stays the same. We're still negative 3.5. I'm not changing my X value. I am moving up. I've got 1, 2, and then 2.5. And right, so I'm moving from 3 to 5.5. So from 3 to 5.5 is a plus 2.5 change on the Y axis. I am looking for a three and a half change on any axis. So that's not it. X is not the answer, but now we know what we're doing here. So on the M axis, I am also gaining on the M, but I'm gaining on the X axis rather than the Y axis, right? So my X value changes from negative three and a half to positive one. My Y value stays constant at three. So let's see, I've got half. And then I got one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. So my x value is changing by four and a half because I went from negative three and a half to positive one. That's not what I'm looking for. It's close, but not what I'm looking for. So no on this one, no on this one. Let's check R. So R down here looks like, oh, it's kind of, it's going to be half for everything, right? So take a look at uh, the y value is going to stay the same. It's negative 3.5. But then take a look at my, uh, my y value. It's down between the, the, the x-axis 0 and the negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1 half. Okay, so let's count. Down 1, down 2, down 3, and then another half. So there you go. I went down. Three and a half in my y value. So I'm thinking it is going to be r. Let's just double check and make sure t doesn't work. So t, the x changed to negative six and a half. My y value stayed the same at positive three. And I went over half, and then one and a half, two and a half, and then another half. So two and a half plus half makes three. So I changed negative three, which is close, but I needed, you know, three and a half. So it's not X, it's not M, it's not T. Three and a half units away, right, is going to be this R, because I went from Z, which is at three and a half, three. And what I did here is I uh, went to R, I kept my three and a half, but if I took three and a half away, right, three minus three and a half is going to get me to my my y value of negative one half. So my answer here is going to be R B.